Are you an investor looking for premium market opportunities? Presenting premium and exclusive service for investors by Calkine. Hello and good morning, Sage here. Thanks for joining me on Calkine TV for the ASX buzzing stocks for the day. First up, a quick look over the Australian share market. And the Australian share market has traded flat as of October 13th, 10.22 a.m. The S&P ASX 200 index was up just 1.80 points. And over the last five days, the index has lost 2.47% and 8.57% in the previous 52 weeks. On the other hand, ASX All Ordinaries was down just 2.20 points today. Over the last five days, the index has lost 2.75% and 9.66% over the previous 52 weeks. All 11 sectors were lower over the last week, along with the S&P ASX 200 index. Although little has changed, consumer staples is today's best performing sector. And in today's opening trading session, the top performing stocks were the flag carrier of Australia, Qantas Airways up 11.03%, and Australian multinational banking group, Westpac Banking Corporation up as well, 3.16%. On the other hand, the bottom performing stocks were Australian Lithium and Tantalite mining company Pilbara Minerals down by 5.13%, and lithium producer Allchem down by 3.87%. Wealth management platform NetWealth today announced its September 2022 quarterly business update. Its funds under administration stood at $58.1 billion with an increase of 4.4%, while funds under management rose 3.2% to $13.5 billion. The company recorded $2.9 billion of funds under administration net inflows for the September quarter, up by 8.1%. On the prior quarter, while funds under management net inflows stood at $0.8 billion for the September quarter. The wealth management firm also said that member accounts as of 30th September were 118,464, an increase of 2.4% for the quarter. NetWealth Group's shares traded at 11 Australian dollars 86 cents, being down by 1.65% as of 10.19 a.m. today. Next up, we have Drone Shield for you. They've announced its business update for the three months that ended on 30th September 2022. The commercial drone maker said it had a positive operating cash flow quarter with a bank balance of $7.5 million as of that day, 30th September. The company received multiple larger size contracts, including a $2 million European order for drone sentry systems and a $1.8 million US Department of Defense order for drone guns. Drone Shield recorded the second highest cash receipt quarter of $5.6 million in customer and grant cash receipts, up 103% in the second quarter of the financial year 22. And according to the ASX release, it saw a strong inventory balance of approximately $15 million as of 30th September by sale value, mitigating supply chain risk and enabling rapid sales. Drone Shields shares traded at 17.5 cents, up by 6.06% as of 10.19 a.m. today. A short and sweet one for you, but that is all for this edition of the ASX Buzzing Stocks for the Day. Another episode will be coming your way soon. Until then, you know it. Please keep it locked on Calcine TV for the latest market insights and business news. Have a great day trading. Sage here signing off.